Welcome to Music Biz and Law Insights, a podcast hosted by Justin M. Jacobson, an attorney at the Jacobson Firm. Hello. As a disclaimer, nothing here is intended as legal advice, as everything is for educational purposes only. This episode will briefly look at taxes and write-offs for musicians. So a musician is taxed on all the money it earns. So this includes music sales, publishing income, streaming, and other royalties, merchandise sales, live shows, appearances, brands, and sponsorship deals. Also, when a musician receives any free items, they're actually taxed on the fair market value of the item received. So if they got free airline miles, the value of the airline miles, or you know, if they got clothes or watches or anything else, any electronics, the cost of the free items. In fact, every U.S. resident who earns income must file federal personal income tax with the IRS and possibly state, city, or even other local tax returns where they live. An entertainer may also have to pay state taxes in other states that they earn income from but don't reside. So some states have created non-resident income taxes on visiting professionals who earn income within their state. So this applies to musicians and athletes, and it's commonly known as the jock tax. Many states have jock taxes, including New York. So New York actually taxes the income earned by a professional within New York based on the total duty days spent earning income. So any salary that they receive, such as a fee for a gig or appearance, is taxed. A duty day is usually known as any day that the musician provides some work on behalf of their employer, so the label, talent agent, or person that's signing them within the state. So this could be a live appearance, a concert, a recording session, any promotional work. As previously explored in a prior episode, one benefit of establishing a business entity is creating a business bank account. In fact, the business account allows for the easy tracking of business expenses and income, especially for tax purposes. Also, there may be available write-offs or deductions that may decrease a musician's total net taxable income. So this means that after the deduction of relevant and documented business expenses, an artist may owe less tax because their total income is now less. So if an entity is eligible for business deductions due to operating as a proper business, there are a variety of different write-offs for a musician. So here's a bunch of them, but this is definitely not an exhaustive list. Some might include any recording or DJ equipment, any instruments, guitars, drum sets, mixers, the cost for any promotional materials created for giveaways, the cost to create any merchandise, CDs or vinyl, so t-shirts, hoodies, pins. Some other deductions might be consumable goods such as guitar picks, guitar strings, or drumsticks, as well as any website or graphic and logo design costs. Any professional expenses such as attorneys, accountants, business managers, photographers, videographers, the cost for filing any copyrights or trademarks. Any expenses for travel and meal associated with business work, so hotel, airfare, any on-site travel, Uber, taxis, as well as any rental costs for any equipment, trucks, cars, sound or lighting used for a performance. Additionally, you may be able to get marketing and promotional costs used to actually promote releases or shows or any other content. It is important to organize and document any and all deducted business expenses in case the tax authorities are interested in a more detailed examination of them. So keeping copies of receipts and potentially using a separate credit or debit card solely for business expenses might be beneficial. It's important to be aware that if a person fails to file or misfiles their personal income taxes, they may be subject to a tax investigation called an audit and as a result could face stiff penalties, fines, or even worse. So as always, it's best to hire a professional who is experienced in the field, such as an accountant, CPA, or other professional. So thanks again for tuning in. Follow me on Twitter, Justin J E S Q. Check jacobsonfirm.com for more information and articles. This is attorney advertising. Prior results do not guarantee a similar outcome. As always, all this information is for educational purposes only.